hey there beautiful people last week I asked for questions from you through Instagram through Twitter Facebook and email and I got some great questions I'm gonna be covering those in future videos but this one question that came from Linda is how can I reverse insulin resistance insulin resistance is such an insidious problem in about 80 to 90 percent of us not just diabetics and pre-diabetics but most of us and I want to explain to you why it is so dangerous and ways that we can overcome it and reverse it in this very short video and you are not going to want to miss this it could actually be life-changing for you So hey there, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I, I appreciate that to the moon. And also, please subscribe to this channel. Um, we're just going to be posting and posting and posting. And today what we're going to be doing is we are covering just questions that you have. I had a whole bunch of questions come in on all different uh, social media outlets and I want to cover them. But the first one from Linda, and thank you for sending this in, Linda, is how do we reverse how do we reverse insulin resistance? First of all, what is insulin resistance? Yes, all diabetics and pre-diabetics are insulin resistant. But what we don't realize is that even before a diagnosis, a lot of us have insulin resistance and we just don't know it we don't realize it and so um, and why does it happen it happens because over decades over years we either have too many carb rich foods especially processed foods and let me just say one thing to you is that whole grains most of them most of them except for our good ezekiel bread or or like a dense grain bread is a processed food that is not a real whole grain just want to get that off my my chest because i needed to say that but anyway carb rich food stress lack of exercise as well as we don't think about this one either can lend, lend itself to insulin resistance is environmental toxins so how do we overcome that so the best way to do this is through graphics and I had several years ago a, a graphic artist she's really wonderful make me some um, graphics to help my patients understand what insulin resistance is and so the first part of this is just that the body makes glucose through carbohydrates the carbohydrates that we uh, that we consume and this is such a amazing intelligent um, system and this is why I believe in intelligent design because in response to that the blood the body doesn't like the fact that the um, there's glucose in the blood it knows it needs to get to the cells and so in response to that insulin is triggered well insulin is also triggered through stress and again I said environmental toxins and um, lack of exercise a lot of times will also create an insulin response and um, and so that you know we want that but we don't want it in excess okay so that's something to remember but um, so our bodies need, need that insulin response but also not in excess and so the insulin actually takes the glucose to the cells and the happy response to that is when the cells can actually the, the insulin has receptors to link to that cell it's not a lock and key it is a receptor but you you get it's a it's a pictorial um, and it actually opens the door of that cell everybody's happy what that means that's a good response there's not excess glucose in the blood insulin goes way down after that does its job everything is happy that means you have energy that means this your cells of your body are being nourished and and you can think straight and a lot of good things but with most of us we have come to those cells too many times and basically for lack of a better word non-scientific 
uh, way of saying it, is the cells get worn out. Those receptors are the lock and keys don't work anymore. They don't work very well because they don't open the cells and then we get this uh, buildup of glucose and insulin and it's ugly guys. Cells are not being nourished and what happens to us? We get fatigued, lack of energy, lack of sex drive, our cognition, our memory goes down, our blood flow is decreased, our immunity is decreased and so it's one hot mess. And again, this can happen, this whole thing can happen before we're ever diagnosed with prediabetes. And a lot of times I've had two patients in my office this week who's, um, their doctors, they are 100% prediabetic and they weren't even diagnosed. No one even said anything to them. And I guess we're just going to wait till the di diabetes diagnosis. We're going to just wait till they fall into diabetes. And that's to me so short-sighted because we can back that evil train up. So how do we back that evil train up? And I'm going to talk about this probably every video. Every video I've ever made has a component of it that helps you to overcome this inflammatory insulin resistance. And um, so uh, you know, it's going to be mainly about food. All right. So what kind of foods should we be eating? Go back and watch all my videos. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it, it would be helpful because everything that I talk about is going to be helpful to you. These are foods that don't significantly raise blood sugars. Okay. And they just keep it more balanced, the blood sugar more balanced. That doesn't mean you can't ever have a food like that, but it just keeps everything more balanced. And, um, so I, I say really, you really need to be careful with your greens. Um, you can eat some, some real grains, but like for me, I'm one of those people where my blood sugars shoot up so high. I have to be so careful with that. Omega three rich foods, the good fats will keep things stable. We always thought fat was bad. No, no, not it is not. It keeps things more stable and so that helps. Fiber, a lot of fiber rich foods and that mainly comes in the form of those nutrient dense foods like fruits and the low glycemic fruits but mostly the low glycemic vegetables. They are the best thing to fight insulin resistance. If you're doing them and your diet, if you're consuming them, just do more, just add and do more. I had one lady in my office this morning. She was doing, she, she started doing 11 servings. She's already seen weight loss. She's, and I can tell you in three months time, we're going to have that glucose and that A1C, which is a diabetic marker checked again. And I, I'm almost sure that they are, that those numbers are going to go down. So the second thing is exercise. I'm going to link, I'm going to link a link about exercise. It doesn't have to be hours in the gym, folks. It doesn't, I know some of you non-exercisers are like, don't tell me that, I've heard that a thousand times, but there's a way to make it work for you. And I, I wanna make it simple because I want you to exercise because exercise helps those cells to be more sensitive. It helps those receptors to become more sensitive to insulin. It's like such a win-win situation. So you want more exercise. Also, decreasing stress. Here's a kicker, guys. Big, huge kicker that I didn't even know about a couple of years ago is that cortisol, that adrenal hormone that increases when we are stressed. It, it does all kinds of insidious things to us, all kinds of bad things to us. It's a depressant, anti-immunity, anti-bone. It demineralizes our bone. I'm gonna link a link about cortisol as well below. Go watch that video. But cortisol also, you could have zero amount of refined carbohydrates in your diet. You could have zero amount and you could still create an insulin response if you have too much stress. Isn't that amazing? Because cortisol kicks off insulin. Okay, cortisol is like a precursor to insulin. So it could actually be stressing you and you could have this like perfect diet. And so remember stress and 
And just remember that um, we're not getting rid of stress, we just need to handle it in the right way. And then environmental problems, environmental contaminants that are coming into our bodies with, with um, you know, meats that we eat that, are, that have antibiotics and hormones in them. Most of your meats need to be organic, guys, or grass-fed or clean. You need to have clean, clean meats. Seafood should always be well caught. Your skincare products, I'll link that below to show you what to look for in skincare products. I haven't done a video yet on um, cleaning products, but I sure will because cleaning products, I mean, we're just slathering stuff on our skin and on our, I see people doing it to, our, to their children as well. And I just think, oh, please don't do that. You know, because there's chemicals that are going in and they're causing issues believe it or not, with insulin. So those are some great ways. Of course, diet is gonna, in your, the way you eat is gonna be the number one way. So just getting those nutrient-dense foods into your life, it is gonna make the biggest difference, lowering your grains of all kinds. Processed foods, yes, you can have processed foods. Yes, you can. I ate an ice cream cone the other day and I felt totally at peace doing that and no guilt whatsoever but it was the first one i'd had in a long long time it's just that it's just overabundance we're just flooding ourselves with these processed foods because they're so readily available so i hope that helped you thank you linda for sending that in yes you can reverse it i believe i'm not perfect and i'm not a perfect eater guys i'm um a carboholic, you know, that has been reformed, but I always will be a carboholic. But I can tell you that I feel as of right now that I have I have reversed insulin resistance. Now, if I fall off the wagon and I I could become insulin resistant tomorrow. That's how bad I am. So just remember that you can reverse it. It's going to take work on your part. Okay? Nothing worthwhile is free or easy. Okay? Let's just I'll put our big boy in pants on and deal with that fact. But we can reverse it. And, um, and it, it is harder the farther you go down that diabetes path. Believe me, it, it gets harder and harder. Do it now. Do it now, folks. So anyway, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Please uh, like me on Facebook, Lindy Ford Nutrition and Wellness. I'm posting lots of great recipes on there all the time, just every day, just about every single day. And on Twitter and Instagram, please follow me. And remember that everyone deserves the freedom to live their best life. I will see you in the next video.